This video is to show you how to edit certain styling elements about your website, such as the colors, the header image, which social network icons you want to use, if any, and your fonts. So the first thing we're going to do is click Login. And in case you're not familiar, uh, this is the back-end administration area of the website system called WordPress, and that is what we use to design your website. So to change some of those elements, what we want to do is go to Appearance and Customize. You have a theme uh, on your website that is called uh, Blogiamo and you would want to click on the pro theme options here and then this button and you are of course free to go through all of these options and play around and test things but I'm just going to show you a few things here on the general settings this is where you would change the, the header image and you could just get rid of the one that's here now by clicking this to remove it and then click the Add button to add your own. And once you get to here, these are the images that are already uploaded to your website. To add a new one, you would click here to Upload Files. And then you just click this button. I'm just going to choose the same one and put it back, just so I can show you the process. And once that's done uploading, we're just going to click Send to Option Tree, and there. If I was finished right now, I'd want to click on Save Changes, but we're going to continue down to the copyright text. You can change this to say whatever you want. And what you're seeing here is actually a link I put in so that the copyright text will link to the login screen. Uh, but you don't have to have that there because you do have a login button. So you could actually clean all of this out and then you make sure you get this last little tag out and then you can put any information you want here to go for your copyright text and then save changes. And then the next thing I'd want to look at is style and typography. And this is where you could change uh, your fonts. They don't have a lot of options but you could go through them, change one, change it to another one, save your changes, and then look at your website to see what it looks like. Okay, so I've opened up the back end and the front end of the website so you can see um, things that I'm talking about. The text color is obviously the text color that is on the website. And then the special color is anywhere here where you see is black. All of the edges and the buttons, the social networks, that's what the special color is. And then here, your background, this is the background uh, color of the website. And I have it, if you see, I have it this green color, and that's what you're seeing in between and on the background. So you can change all of those. And then for all of the social network buttons you see here and here on the sidebar, that would be under here, social network. And the reason you're seeing the buttons is because I have just uh, the URLs in there already. If you take one out, if you don't like, if you don't want Twitter, you would just take that out and click save. And then you see the Twitter here. I'm going to refresh the page. And you can see Twitter is gone. So you can add and remove uh, any ones that you want. Just make sure you put the correct uh, URL in it. For the website title and the subtitle, it would stay just like this during your demo, your 30-day demo. And once you actually upgrade, we change this for you depending on what you want. So that is not changeable by you uh, within the settings.